Welcome to Zcast, everyone. I'm Zias Caraval from ZK Research, and I'm here at Cisco Partner Summit in LA. I'm with Robert Kim. You're the CTO of Presidio. Yes, thanks. Yeah. Th thank you for having me. Yeah, and Robert, so just a quick intro on yourself, and for those who don't know what Presidio is, uh, just a quick description on them as well. Sure. Uh, so my name's Rob Kim. Been at Presidio now for eight years. I'm the chief technology officer and spend a lot of time driving our technology strategy, uh, meeting with clients in the field, uh, talking to them about new and innovative ways to be able to solve their challenges with digital technology. Yeah, and your relationship with Cisco is, uh, talk about that. So we're a longtime Cisco partner. Long time. Uh, yeah, so yeah. gold partner, hi highest levels. Um, uh, I think for the past three years, we've been top three global partner for them. Uh, and obviously they've been a great partner throughout all these years. Yeah, whenever I see the list of awards, uh, Presidio is always on them, so yeah. part of, from partnering. Now, speaking of awards, uh, congratulations, you won one of the awards here. Uh, it was one of their innovation awards for partnering with a purpose. <clears throat> yeah, excuse me. And um, the award was for a, an, uh, a, product, uh, a product you built called uh, well, well, talk about what it was. Yeah, so uh, first off, thank you. Yeah, it was the first time that we participated in their Innovation Partner Challenge, obviously a global challenge that they have. And uh, the uh, concept that we put together was something called Presidio SignBridge, uh, specifically providing uh, real-time ASL interpretation for uh, the Cisco WebEx UC platform. And ASL being American Sign Language. Right? Correct, correct. Yeah, and so talk about how that works. That's, it's an interesting, uh, when you told me about it at lunch, I thought it was fascinating. Well, interestingly enough, there's obviously a lot of different translation technologies that are out there, but much more focused on spoken language. Yeah, uh, well, English to Spanish, French to... 100%. Yeah, yeah. But the one thing that we hadn't seen was anything specifically around utilizing technology for real-time, bi bi-directional uh, translation for uh, American Sign Language. And so what we endeavored to build was a way for us to be able to take text to uh, American Sign Language utilizing avatars uh, in real time for hearing impaired to be able to um, also utilize the platform for collaboration. Okay, and then and so is the use case for that employee-employee uh, uh, employee to collaboration, contact center, for service, uh, B2C, all of the above? I, eventually, uh, where we see <laughs> the platform going is certainly much more all the, all of the above. Uh, even in some of the discussions we've had with clients across many different industries, uh, in particular, uh, the public sector agencies that we're very much interested in, if you have DEI initiatives, as well as those that were looking to uh, provide better innovation and uh, uh, capabilities from an overall collaboration experience standpoint to include inclusiveness around the hearing impaired community, it's, it's uh, definitely taken off and certainly in the future revisions and versions that we have, uh, we expect that we're going to be able to deliver against that. Okay, and then uh, you chose to build on the WebEx product. Yes. Right? How, how, what was that experience like? I know they've been really focused on building out their ecosystem around that as well. Yes, yeah, certainly. So, uh, you know, for this initial prototype build, we did utilize a lot of cloud-based assets in order to accomplish the initial prototype. Uh, but obviously, uh, following a lot of the discussions that you saw from WebEx One, uh, AI agent assistance, and, and as well as all of the uh, AI-infused capabilities that they have around sound uh, and noise modification, these are all things that we want to make sure we take advantage of as we improve the collaboration for those that are hearing impaired. Yeah, in fact, I think uh, Cisco's, everyone's got background noise removal. I think Cisco's background noise removal is actually better the best. than anyone else's because 100%. they have that uh, really interesting use case of optimized for my voice. I've used it in Starbucks and airports, yep. and you can't tell there's anybody else. So yeah, 100%. I, I think it's an area they should, uh, uh, frankly, talk about more. So yep. uh, now you mentioned uh, the A word, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. AI. Uh, I know, I'm sure, being one of Cisco's biggest partners, you're doing a lot of work in AI. Uh, what I'm hearing from customers is everyone's got AI on the brain but yeah. they don't really know where to start. So what are you seeing from AI? What are you telling customers right now? I mean, the first thing that I would say is you got to make sure that you continue to get literate. Um, uh, much as what G2 said on stage over the course of the past two days uh, here at Partner Summit, we do that think that this is a, a seminal technology and something that will essentially be pervasive in anything that we do from a society perspective. And so get literate, understand the capabilities, understand how to potentially utilize it. Uh, and I think based on that, you will start to get much more focused on the use cases and the challenges that you want to try to address instead of uh, having at the forefront, how do I build an AI-based use case? The, the reality is that AI just becomes another function, another tool uh, for us to make programmable in the way that we solve challenges with technology. Yeah, and given the fact that AI is likely 
well, I don't see any other way. It's going to be a multi-vendor, right? There's, there's yeah. not, uh, it'd be hard for me to see putting all your eggs in one vendor basket. Does that change the role of the, the Cisco partner in, into uh, really a different kind of role? Less product, more solution? Uh, so I think, uh, to your point, that's exactly it. If we focus on selling the piece parts and the capabilities in isolation, then obviously for a lot of our clients, they're going to be much more focused on the technology components. But as we start to talk about things based on outcome and driving and, and addressing challenges, and you bundle these uh, capabilities together, whether it's our services that we deliver as a partner in conjunction with you know, Cisco's technologies, they're, they're going to be less worried about the, initial, the individual pieces and much more focused on whether or not they'll get the outcome that they want to derive. And that's really the way IT should be. 100%. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and so, uh, just last question, you know, this is Rodney Clark's first uh, partner summit, or the first partner yeah. summit, I guess, under his leadership. Yeah. Uh, any thoughts on it? They rolled in a new partner program. Uh, they had a lot of product news here. Just uh, thoughts from the show. Uh, product news, I think the, the best thing that we've heard was essentially building upon a lot of the strategy and roadmaps that they put together in previous partner summits uh, and actually getting the updates and seeing what has been achieved and following, uh, staying on track uh, with the timetables that they actually published and put out. So that's been very exciting, when you, especially when we look at things like hyperfabric and hypershield. Yes. Uh, in terms Lots of, the, of interest in hyper, hyper hundred yeah, percent. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, what I would say on the partner program, I think the the, the switch into providing more granularity based on the investment that we as partners make in their particular competencies and capabilities to deliver against their solutions, I think is very important. It'll provide more segmentation opportunities for us, uh, as well as differentiation uh, in the services that we deliver. Yeah, what I like about it is uh, you invest in yourself, you win. Yes. Cisco wins, obviously, but the big winner is the customer. 100%. Right? Because yeah. they, they get a much, Absolutely. Uh, 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 a partner, I think, that's more aligned with current friends. Yep. So, completely all right, and, agree. Anything else you want to add? No, I just uh, enjoy my time here. A, yeah. a lot of great new announcements. Uh, nice yeah. to also obviously meet you as well. Uh, and what I would say is if you're uh, looking for any guidance, uh, whether it's AI or anything from a digital perspective, please feel free to reach out to Presidio. Yeah, and they can find you at uh, Rob at Presidio.com. Super okay. easy. Yeah, okay. So uh, I'll include the link to Presidio in the YouTube description below. All right. Okay. Thank you. So on behalf of Rob Kim from Presidio, I'm ZS Caravallo from ZK Research saying thanks for watching. Uh, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time on my next episode of ZCast. Mm -hmm.